Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful self-striping lollipop baby afghan with a cute little border around that afghan. This is a very easy two row repeat and very beginner friendly. So I'll get into all the information of what you need to make this afghan in a minute. But first I want to invite all my viewers and all my subscribers over to my new channel. The one thing that I do every day is crochet and cook. And my grandson wanted to start a YouTube channel and said, hey Graham, why don't we do a cooking show and you can show them our family favorite recipes. So I said, okay. So we started Creative Grandma's Kitchen because if you're like me, you love to crochet and you have to cook every day. So I'm hoping that I can bring some of my family favorites to your family and I'll have a link to my new channel in the description box underneath this video and hope you take a minute or two and pop over it's a great way to relax when you're crocheting watch some of those videos and see what recipes you might like so now let's go over and I'll tell you everything you need to make the lollipop baby blanket so first I used the lollipop yarn from Hobie. This is 20% wool, 80% acrylic. It's 200 grams, 7.5 ounces, 350 meters, and 382 yards. It's a number four medium weight yarn. So if you want to substitute another cake yarn, you can use any four medium weight cake yarn. But make sure you get the same amount of yardage used in this cake for whatever you substitute but i was on their website they still have this color available this is color number 17 boise very soft very beautiful pastel colors for a baby afghan i just fell in love with this so a special thank you to hobie for sending me the yarn to make this afghan so you're going to need three cakes of number 17 boise you're also going to need a size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you're also going to need a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. Now with this afghan, if you want to make it larger or smaller, you're going to use the stitch multiple of 2 plus 3. So you would chain 2 a multiple of times to get it to the width you want, say 2 times 50 would be a hundred and then you add three for a hundred and three the afghan has a very delicate border where i just put three rounds around the outside just to give it a more finished look and i was always taught that when you make an afghan an afghan is never finished unless you put a border on it it always makes the afghan look complete so that's all you're going to need three cakes of the lollipop from hobie in color number 17 boise very pretty your size H8 5 millimeter hook and a yarn needle. So let's get started. I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer and we're going to begin in chain 103. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook that creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four, five, continue until you have a chain with 103 chains and I'll be back and I'll get row one started. I'm back, I have my chain with 103 chains and now we're going to begin row one. We're going to begin and we're going to skip the first three chain and we're going to double crochet into the next chain yarn over skip one two three chains insert into the fourth chain from hook yarn over pull through that chain you have three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two you just made a double crochet i'll show you one more time you're going to double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert into that next chain yarn over and pull through 
yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. We're going to work one double crochet in each chain across to the end of the chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. Continue and work one double crochet in each chain across to the end of the chain and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over at the end of row one and it's a pretty long strip. So let me get back to the beginning. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We double crocheted in each stitch across and when you get to the end of row one you're going to have a total of 101 double crochet stitches and that's counting your beginning chain three. Now we're getting ready to start row two. Row two and row three will be our repeat row. So it's a two row repeat for this pattern. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now, if you're new to crocheting or even if you have experience, if you have trouble with beginning and ending the row with certain patterns, you should put a stitch marker in this beginning chain one because this is going to count as your first stitch of row two. So go ahead and put a stitch marker in that stitch. You're going to skip this first stitch, this first double crochet, and we're going to work a double crochet into this next stitch. Yarn over, you're skipping the chain one, you're skipping that first double crochet stitch, and you're going to double crochet into that next stitch. Insert into the top of that stitch, make sure you're getting both of those top loops, and work a double crochet. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, Insert into the top of the next stitch, getting both of those top loops. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. This is what's going to create the texture on the other side of the work. So this is actually the wrong side. So the even rows are the wrong side. The odd rows are the right side of the work. So let's go ahead and start the repeat. If you need help, just click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to work that across to the very end of your chain. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into the top of the next stitch, work a double crochet. Insert into the top of the next stitch, and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. Very simple. So let's do it again. Double crochet into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch. And again, that is the end of the repeat. This is the wrong side of your work and when you turn it over you're going to see that texture forming on the other side. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. Double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead, if you need help, click back on the video. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and you're going to repeat that to the very end of the row, and I'll meet you at the end of row two. 
I'm back. I'm over towards the end of row two. Now I didn't finish the row yet. I always like to come back on and show everyone how to end the row. So I just worked my last repeat and then I have a double crochet and my turning chain. So this is that beginning chain three that we skipped when we started row one. So we're just going to repeat our pattern and put a double crochet into the next double crochet and we're going to work a slip stitch right into the top of that ending turning chain. So let's go ahead and finish row two. You're going to yarn over, insert into the top of that next double crochet, and work a double crochet. You're going to finish the row by coming up to the top of that turning chain, insert into the top chain, and slip stitch and do this loosely and row two is finished now remember row two is the wrong side this is what it's going to look like and when you turn that row over you can see how beautiful that textured real delicate textured stitch pattern is going to look so now we're going to go ahead and start row three so let's begin you're going to chain three one, two, three, and you're going to turn your work. Now this again, doing this pattern when you're working with these slip stitches and the chain ones, you really have to pay attention to where that first stitch is. So now we're going to work a double crochet into the next double crochet. So we're skipping this slip stitch because that's the first stitch. That chain three counts as the first double crochet. And you're going to double crochet into the next double crochet. And you can tell the double crochet because it's going to be poked out. It's going to have texture there. So you need to make sure that you're turning your work and you're going to the opposite side and getting those top two loops because what happens is this double crochet is going to poke out. This is not the loop you want to go in. You're going to yarn over, turn that work all the way over, and go clear on the other side and grab those two loops. And work a double crochet. You want to make sure you, that you have this horizontal loop showing on your stitch when you work. If that's not there, then you know you went into the wrong loop. So now we're going to work a double crochet into the next slip stitch. Now your slip stitch is right in the center. It's a very small stitch. You're going to yarn over, turn your work all the way over, look for that teardrop. You're going to insert under both of those top loops of that stitch, work a double crochet. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into the top two loops of that next stitch work a double crochet. After you make that stitch you're going to see that horizontal bar right at the base of that stitch going across your work. Yarn over, insert into the top of the next slip stitch, just turn your work, look for those top two loops, work a double crochet. And that's all there is to it. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, turn your work, look for those top two loops, insert under the top two loops, work a double crochet. Then look at your work, make sure you see that horizontal bar right at the base of that stitch. It's going to go from left to right or right to left, but you'll see that bar right there. Double crochet into the next slip stitch, turn your work, find those top two loops, work a double crochet. So go ahead and work one double crochet in each stitch across to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm over towards the end of row three. You can see I have one double crochet remaining and we have our ending chain one. Just a little chain right here on the other side of that double crochet. So we're going to finish the row and work a double crochet into this next double crochet. Make sure you insert under the top two loops, 
work a double crochet. And this where it's very important for new crocheters to realize that you still have to work another stitch. This chain one counted as a stitch, so we're going to double crochet into this turning chain one. So once you do that last double crochet into the last double crochet stitch, you're just going to yarn over, come over right beside that last double crochet stitch right into the chain one turning chain work a double crochet and row three is finished now if you forget this last stitch then your row is going to start to angle and you're going to lose stitches so make sure you always put a stitch marker into that chain one when you start the next row and then you'll know where to start and stop your rows so it's always best if you're a new crocheter that when you do this row with the chain one, when you start that row with the chain one, if you have a stitch marker in this stitch, when you're coming back across and finishing row three, you're going to realize I do have another stitch. I need to put it here where my stitch marker is. Now I didn't use stitch markers, but I did try to explain to you where those stitches go. So really pay close attention to the start and ending of each row. Now since we completed rows two and three, those were our repeat rows. When you're at the end of row three, you're on the right side of your work where you can see that gorgeous little textured pattern. And then when you turn it over, it's just nice and smooth on the back side. So now what you wanna do is you're going to click back on the video and you're going to repeat row two and row three until you get 87 complete rows. So go ahead, click back on the video, repeat rows two and three until you have a total of 87 rows. And I'll meet you at the end of row 87. So I'm over at the end of row 87. This is what your work should look like. The right side should be facing where you have that textured stitch. So let me zoom up a little bit more so you can see that texture. And then we're just going to fasten off at the end of row 87. So I just yarn over, chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And I'll just weave that in through the back of my work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start the border. So this is the right side and we wanna start the border with the right side facing. So all we're going to do is go back to the beginning of row 87. So this is where we fastened off. Do not turn your work, keep it with the right side facing. And you're just going to go over to your right hand corner and we're going to reattach our yarn into the top of this beginning chain three. So I'm going back to the beginning of row 87, right where you started the row in chain three. I already have my yarn attached back to my hook and I just used a double knot. I'm going to insert my hook right into the top of that beginning chain three and make sure the right side is facing with the texture on top and you're just going to slip stitch and join your new color. Yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. And that just makes a nice secure joining of your yarn. We're going to chain one. You're going to insert back into that same chain. And I'm going to take my end and I'm gonna hold it right up against my work and weave that end in as I crochet. Work a single crochet insert under the top two loops of that next stitch, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch and make sure you're going under both of those top loops, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and all you're going to do is continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across. 
So go ahead and work one single crochet in each stitch across until you come to the corner. I'll meet you there and then we'll continue. I'm over at my first corner. I just worked across the top of the afghan and we worked one single crochet in each stitch across to the corner. And now we're going to chain two for the corner. One and two. Now we're going to begin working down the side of our afghan in the row end stitches. So first you're going to see that you have a double crochet row end stitch here and then you're going to have a very small slip stitch or chain one row end stitch right in between those two double crochet row end stitches. We're going to be working one single crochet into each double crochet row end stitch and one double crochet into that small row end stitch in between those double crochet row end stitches and we're going to repeat that down to the next corner. Now this is where I fastened off so I'm just going to hold that right up against my work and work over that end. So let's begin. Insert into that first double crochet row end stitch. Work a single crochet. Insert into the space between the two double crochet row end stitches right here. It's a very small row end stitch where your chain one or your slip stitch is. You're going to insert into that row end stitch work a single crochet. Insert into your next double crochet row end stitch and you can tell because it's the longer row end stitch and you're working right around the post of that stitch. Insert underneath that post of that stitch, work a single crochet around the post. Insert into that next small row end stitch and it's really hard to determine where it is so you just go in between the two double crochet row end stitches insert into that small row end stitch work a single crochet so let's do it a couple more times insert into the next double crochet row end stitch work a single crochet insert into the next small row end stitch work a single crochet so go ahead and continue and work one single crochet into the next double crochet row end stitch and one single crochet into that next small slip stitch or single crochet row end stitch down the length of your afghan and I'll meet you at the next corner. I worked down my length. We worked one single crochet in each row end stitch down to the next corner. So now we're going to make our corner and chain two. You should have ended with a single crochet into that last double crochet row end stitch. Chain two, one, two, that's the corner. And now we're going to begin to work across the bottom of the afghan in the chains. Now if you're new to crocheting, what you want to do is just look for the first chain here and then you just follow the stitches down to the base of the stitch if you're not sure where the chains are. They're going to be right at the base of each stitch across. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to single crochet into that very first chain right where that piece of yarn from where you started your chain. Insert right into that first chain. And I'm going to hold my yarn up against my work and crochet right over it. So single crochet into the first chain. Find your next stitch, follow it down, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet single crochet into the next chain and again if you're not sure and that confuses you find your next stitch follow it down insert at the base of that stitch work a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain and you're just going to continue and work one single crochet in each chain across to your next corner. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet in each chain across and I'll meet you at the next corner. 
I'm over at my next corner. I just worked one single crochet in each chain across the bottom of the afghan, and we have one side to go on our afghan. Now, since I'm over at the corner, I did stop when I worked in the last stitch, and I wanted to show you how to go into that ending chain. So once you work your single crochet into the last actual stitch, you still have your turning chain. So you only want to go into the top chain right on the left side of that last stitch. Insert into that next chain, work a single crochet. Because this counts as a stitch, you don't want to work in each chain. You just want to work in that first stitch. So now we're going to chain two for the corner, and we're going to start working down the last side of our afghan. Insert underneath and around the post of that first double crochet row and stitch, work a single crochet. Now you're going to single crochet between those two double crochet row and stitches right into that slip stitch or chain one, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next double crochet row and stitch and make sure you're not getting your stitches too tight. You just want a nice loose even tension. Insert into the next row and stitch which is the slip stitch or the chain one work a single crochet. Insert into the next double crochet row and stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next row and stitch, which is the slip stitch or the chain one, work a single crochet. And you're just going to repeat that down the length of the afghan. So if you need help, just click back on the video, single crochet into the next double crochet row and stitch, single crochet into the next slip stitch or chain one row end stitch and then repeat that down to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round one. I just worked one single crochet in each row end stitch down to my last corner and I ended with a single crochet into that last double crochet row end stitch and now we're going to chain two for the corner and we're going to come up and slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet. You're going to skip this chain one space and you're going under the top two loops of that first single crochet. Slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So round one is finished. So round one is finished. Now we're going to start round two. Now round two, we're going to work even across the top and bottom, and then we're going to be adding some extra stitches across each side of the afghan. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to chain one, and you want to go into the back loop of this joining stitch, and sometimes all this here hides it, so just pull that back, insert into the back loop only, work a single crochet. Insert into the back loop of that next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the back loop only of the next stitch, work a single crochet. And you can see how this little bit of a front loop creates a ridge on your work. Just adds a nice little pretty detail to your border. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, single crochet. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, and that's all you're going to do across the top of the afghan. So go ahead and work one single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch across to the next corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner. I just worked across the top of my afghan and you can see how when you work in the back loop how this nice subtle ridge forms. It just creates a nice little accent to the border. So now we're over to the corner chain two space and we're going to work one single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet all into this corner chain two space. Insert underneath that corner chain two work a single crochet. Chain two, insert back into that corner chain two space, work a single crochet. Your corner is made. 
So now we're getting ready to start our repeat down the length where we're going to be adding some extra stitches. So this is the start of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat and work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to work that down to the next corner. So let's begin. You're going to insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet. Now we're going to work two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Insert into the back loop, work two single crochet. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. So again, the repeat is going to be one single crochet into the back loop of the next three stitches and then two single crochet into the back loop of the next. So let's begin the repeat again. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. That's one. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. That's two. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch. Work a single crochet and that's three. Now we're going to work two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Insert into the back loop, work two single crochet. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'm going to do it one more time with you. Again, it's going to be one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and we're working in the back loop and then two single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch that's one single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch that's two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch that's three and then two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and that is the end of the repeat so if you need help, click back on the video. So go ahead and work one single crochet into the back loop of the next three stitches and then two single crochet into the back loop of the next. Work that down the length of the afghan until you cannot repeat the pattern any longer and I'll meet you down at the next corner. I just worked down the length of the afghan and now I'm over at the end of my last repeat because I do not have enough stitches. You need four stitches for each repeat. And when you come down to that corner chain two space, you're going to have three single crochet remaining. So what we're going to do is single crochet in the back loop of each of those three remaining stitches down the length. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a single crochet single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. So now you're at your corner chain two space. We're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same corner chain two space. So now we're working across the bottom of the afghan and we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch across. So let's begin. Insert into the back loop of that first stitch going across the bottom of the afghan. Work a single crochet. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Go ahead and continue and work one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch across to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. We just worked across the bottom of our afghan. You worked one single crochet in each stitch across. And now we're over at our corner chain two space. You're going to single crochet into that corner chain two space, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same corner chain two space. 
So now we have one side to go. We're going to be working down the length and we're going to repeat what we did on the opposite side. You're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to be working into the back loops. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, that's two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and that's three. You're going to work two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. That's one and two and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. That's one. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. That's two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, that's three, and two single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me do it just one more time. We're going to single crochet in the back loop of each of the next three stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, that's three. Now you're going to work two single crochet into the back loop of this next stitch. That's one and two. So go ahead and repeat down your length you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches in the back loop and then two single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to work that down the length to within the last three single crochet stitches. So I'll meet you there and then we'll finish the afghan border for round two. I'm over at the end of round two. Once you make your last repeat, you're going to have three single crochet stitches remaining. We're going to single crochet into the back loop of each of those last three single crochet. So single crochet into the back loop of those last three remaining stitches. and then we have our ending corner chain two space. You're going to insert into the corner chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet into that corner chain two space. We're going to join our round by going into the back loop only of that first single crochet stitch, so skip the front loop, insert into the back loop, and slip stitch. So round two is finished. Now we're ready to begin round three of our border, which is our final round. And we're going to work a half double crochet, a pico stitch, and a half double crochet as our little edging for the last round of this afghan. We're going to begin in chain one, and the chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert into that back loop, work a half double crochet. You're going to chain three, bring your hook back around, insert from top to bottom through that front loop only, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert into that same back loop, work a half double crochet. And that is going to be our edging for round three of our border. So now I'm going to begin the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and we're gonna work across to the next corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook, skip the next stitch, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. You're going to chain three, bring your hook back to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of that last half double crochet worked, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert into that same back loop, work a half double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. 
yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a half double crochet. Chain three, bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop only, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same back loop, work a half double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat, and you can see how it's forming that nice little edging. So let me show you one more time, and you can continue on your own. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a half double crochet. Chain three. Bring your hook back to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom in the front loop of that last half double crochet made, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same back loop, work a half double crochet. So go ahead and work across to the next corner chain two space until you cannot repeat the pattern any longer, and I'll meet you there at the next corner. I'm back. I'm over to my first corner. You're going to have one single crochet remaining. So now to work our corner, we're going to work the half double crochet, pico stitch half double crochet, two times into this corner chain two space. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, skip that next single crochet, insert into the corner chain two space, work a half double crochet. Chain three, Bring your hook back around. You're going to go into the front loop only of that last half double crochet made and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that corner chain two space, work a half double crochet. So we worked our first set. Now we're going to do this one more time into that same corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that corner chain two space, work a half double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. Insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last half double crochet worked and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same corner chain two space, work a half double crochet. Your second repeat is finished. So now we're going to start working down the second side of our afghan and we're going to repeat what we did across the top. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, work a half double crochet. Chain three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that front loop of the last half double crochet stitch made, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same back loop, work a half double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'll show you a couple more times. By now you should have the hang of it since you worked across the top, but I'll just work it with you a few times. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, half double crochet. Chain three, Bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert into the front loop of that half double crochet, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same back loop, and half double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat, and you can see how it's starting to form the same pattern as across the top. So I'll do it one more time, and then you can continue down this side of the afghan. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the back loop of the next stitch, half double crochet. Chain three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that front loop of that half double crochet, and slip stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same back loop, and work a half double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video, start where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, work that down the length until you can't repeat the pattern any longer, and I'll meet you at the next corner. I'm over at the second corner. I just worked down the length. We went across the top, 
we work down the second side and now we're over at our second corner now when you get to your second corner your repeat is going to end right into the last stitch before that corner chain two space so now we're just going to work our half double crochet pico stitch half double crochet two times into this corner chain two space so yarn over insert into the corner chain two work a half double crochet chain three slip stitch into the front loop of that last half double crochet made yarn over and half double crochet into that same corner chain two space so now we're going to do that one more time into the same corner chain two space so you might want to pull those stitches over yarn over insert back into that corner chain two space work a half double crochet chain three slip stitch into the front loop of that last half double crochet worked yarn over insert back into the corner chain two work a half double crochet and our two repeats are made into that corner chain two space so now we're just going to pick up and start working our repeat again so i'll get you started you're going to yarn over you're going to skip that next stitch insert into the back loop of the next stitch work a half double crochet chain three bring your hook back insert it into the front loop of that last stitch worked and slip stitch yarn over and half double crochet into that same back loop you made your repeat so let's do it again yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the back loop only of the next stitch work a half double crochet chain three slip stitch into the front loop of that last stitch worked yarn over insert into that same back loop and work a half double crochet so that is your repeat you're going to go ahead and repeat that down to your next corner so you're going to skip the next stitch work a half double crochet pico half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch you're going to repeat that down to the corner and i'll meet you there we're over at our third corner I just worked across the bottom of the afghan so it's going to look the same as the other sides and when you get to that third corner at the bottom of the afghan you're going to have one stitch remaining so we're going to skip this stitch and then we're going to work our repeat here this section two times in that corner chain two space yarn over skip that last stitch insert into the corner chain two work a half double crochet chain three slip stitch into the front loop of that last half double crochet worked yarn over and half double crochet into that same corner chain two space just pull those stitches back and we're going to repeat one more repeat in that same corner chain two space yarn over insert into the corner chain two work a half double crochet chain three slip stitch into the front loop of the last stitch worked yarn over and half double crochet into that same corner chain two space so our corner is made and we have two repeats in that corner chain two space so now we're working down the side of our afghan and we're just going to continue the pattern down our last side of the afghan so yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the back loop of the next stitch half double crochet chain three slip stitch into the front loop of the last stitch worked slip stitch half double crochet into that same back loop your repeat is finished i'll show you one more time this is the start of the repeat you're going to yarn over skip the next stitch insert into the back loop of the next stitch half double crochet chain three 
slip stitch into the front loop of the last stitch worked and half double crochet into that same back loop and that is the end of the repeat so that's all there is to it you're just going to repeat that pattern down the last side of your afghan skip the next stitch work a half double crochet pico half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch repeat that down to the next corner and i'll meet you there I'm over at the end of round three. This is what the border looks like working down the length of your afghan. We just worked around all four sides and now we're ready to finish this round. So you finished your last repeat into that last stitch and now you have your corner chain two. We're just going to repeat our repeat two times in the corner chain two space. Half double crochet into the corner chain two chain three slip stitch into that front loop of that last stitch made and half double crochet into the corner chain two space so that is our first repeat I'm just going to pull these stitches back and we're going to do it again half double crochet into the corner chain two space you're going to chain three slip stitch into that front loop of the last stitch made yarn over insert back into that corner chain two space work a half double crochet and that is your second repeat and now we're just going to join to finish the round so when you look at your work you still have that one stitch here that we did not work in and we're going to skip that next stitch here and we're going right up into the top of that beginning half double crochet so you have your beginning chain one and then your first half double crochet insert under the top two loops of that first half double crochet and slip stitch I'm going to fasten off my work now I leave a longer length I like having enough yarn that I can really weave it in nice and secure a couple times on the back of my work I chain two pull my hook up pull the yarn out grab the yarn pinch pull down and it creates a secure knot so I'm going to go ahead and weave all my ends in on the back of my work and I'll be back and show you the finished afghan our afghan is finished I want to thank everyone for stopping by today and crocheting with me so until next time stay inspired and happy crocheting